Hello everyone. This is Shravanti, pre-final MBBS from KIMS. Today's session is on the topic potassium. In this session, we will learn about sources, daily requirement, normal level, biochemical functions, absorption and excretion, disease states and ECG changes. Potassium is the major intracellular cation. The sources are banana, orange, apple, pineapple, almond, dates, beans, yam and potato. But a very good source of potassium is tender coconut water. Daily requirement is 3 to 4 grams per day. Normal level is 3.5 to 5.2 millimoles per liter. Biochemical functions. It maintains intracellular osmotic pressure, regulation of acid-base balance, transmission of nerve impulse, biosynthesis of proteins by ribosomes, and its main important function is on the cardiac muscle activity. Um, basically, calcium inward flow influences the contractility of the cardiac muscle. When the flow of calcium is increases, the contractility increases. So in case of um, disease states of uh, potassium, like hypokalemia, the calcium inward flow increases and thereby contractility increases. Whereas in case of hyperkalemia, the calcium inward flow decreases and thereby contractility decreases. Moving on to absorption and excretion. The absorption is via gastrointestinal tract. Very little is lost through feces. In case of diarrhea, a good proportion of potassium is lost. Excretion is mainly through urine and maintenance of body acid-base balance will influence potassium excretion. Aldosterone increases excretion of potassium. Aldosterone basically acts on the kidney. It uh, stimulates the renal tubules to absorb sodium and um, secretes potassium into the urine. Moving on to disease states, first is hypokalemia. Hypo means deficit or anything that's decreased than the normal. Plasma potassium level below 3 millimoles per liter is known as hypokalemia. Causes, gastrointestinal causes like deficient intake or low potassium diet, diarrhea, vomiting, malabsorption, pyloric obstruction. Insulin therapy. Insulin promotes the entry of potassium into the cells by increasing the activity of sodium potassium ATPase pump. Alkalosis. Alkalosis causes potassium to enter into the cells in exchange of hydrogen ions. Increased renal excretion. Seen in case of Cushing syndrome, hyperaldosteronism, hypomagnesemia, renal tubular acidosis. In Cushing syndrome, there is increased level of cortisol. This cortisol increases the GFR and renal plasma flow, thereby increases potassium excretion. A small mnemonic for the causes. The mnemonic is bad load, B for barter or corn syndrome, otherwise called as hyperaldosteronism, A for alkalosis, D for drugs, L for laxative abuse, O for overdose of insulin, A for acute glucose load, and D for diarrhea. Moving on to signs and symptoms, we have another mnemonic, a sick vault, A for alkalosis, S for shallow respirations, I for irritability, C for confusion and drowsiness, W for weakness and fatigue, A for arrhythmias, L for lethargy, T for thready pulse. There is also decreased intestinal motility, nausea, vomiting and ileus. Moving on to the treatment. The mnemonic is MODI, M O D I. M is to correct the hypomagnesemia. O is oral potassium replacement. D for dietary supplements and I for intravenous potassium chloride. Remember Never give amples of potassium chloride directly without diluting. Next disease state is hyperkalemia. Hyper is something that's increased than the normal. So 
potassium level more than 5.5 millimoles per liter is known as hyperkalemia the causes are increased dietary intake decreased renal excretion of potassium due to obstruction of urinary tract renal failure deficient of aldosterone as in case of addison's disease severe volume depletion due to heart failure insulin deficiency tissue hypoxia entry of potassium to the extracellular spaces seen in case of increased hemolysis tissue necrosis or burns rhabdomyolysis crush injuries excess potassium supplements and metabolic acidosis acidosis causes potassium to move from the cells to the extracellular fluid in exchange for hydrogen ions a small mnemonic for the causes machine m for medications like ac inhibitors nsaids a for acidosis it can be either metabolic or respiratory c for cellular destruction due to burns and traumatic injuries h for hypoaldosteronism and hemolysis i for intake that is excessive intake n for nephrons that is renal failure and e is excretion impairment signs and symptoms the mnemonic is murder m for muscle weakness u for urine abnormalities like oliguria and anuria r for respiratory distress d for decreased cardiac contractility e for ecg changes r for reflexes hyperreflexia or areflexia treatment intravenous glucose and insulin intravenous calcium gluconate to stabilize the myocardium sodium bicarbonate this will correct the acidosis and help in shifting the potassium back into the cells dialysis may be required in patients with renal failure the mnemonic for treatment is c big k diet that is if you see a big k the patient could die c for calcium gluconate b for beta 2 agonist and bicarbonate ig is insulin and glucose k for k excellate di is for diuretics and dialysis the last part of the session is about the ecg changes seen in these states of potassium in case of hypokalemia where there is decreased potassium level the ecg curve shows a slightly peaked p wave a slightly prolonged pr interval and there is st depression and a shallow t wave whereas in hyperkalemia there is a wide flat p wave and a prolonged pr interval and there is a widened qrs complex and a slight depressed st segment but a tall peaked t wave basically the change in plasma concentration of potassium will have a pull and push effect on the ecg curve the pull effect is seen in hyperkalemia and the push effect is seen in hypokalemia take home message is potassium is an intracellular cation tender coconut water is the rich source daily requirement is 3 to 4 grams per day normal level is 3.5 to 5.2 millimoles per liter hypokalemia is plasma potassium level less than 3 millimoles per liter and hyperkalemia is plasma potassium level greater than 5.5 millimoles per liter hope you all got an idea about this topic happy learning thank you